Hello everyone and welcome back to Figma Best Practices series. After a long summer break and all those new Figma updates, we're here for season two. So far in the past videos, you will have seen how you can set up your very first component libraries almost entirely from scratch using icons found around in the Figma community and how you can use those icons to start creating your very first homemade components using those icons like buttons, text fields, or a combination of various components to create something like an organism, how you can use those organisms or those simple atomic components, create something as simple as your very first screen, such as a login screen. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about so far, feel free to refresh your memory or start the classes from the start by heading to my channel and making sure you follow each step to see how we get to this point. So with all of that said, you should be introduced at this point to Figma basics as well as using those basics in the most efficient way possible. So just a few seconds ago, I mentioned something like atomic components, molecules and organisms, which is some terminology that I might have not talked about before. And this is what today's lesson is going to be about. I'm going to show you what atomic design is, how you can create your atoms, what are your atoms, how do they later make up to be your molecules and how do those molecules evolve to be your organisms for an efficient iterative design later on. So you can see right here I have almost used something very very similar to what I would call an organism. So basically if you have a closer look I have multiple different components that make up to be this entire card post and you can see basically this component has a component combination of the profile so we have the profile picture for the card then we have the name we have some icons around that could be icon sets plus the actual image container and then we have some more components such as where the likes go where the comments go so this entire thing could be called an organism because it consists of multiple different atoms or organisms the actual terminology this would be considered a molecule because it's only broken down atoms that we're seeing right here but if we were to combine some of those atoms together to make it even more efficient but we have to do even less work later on then this would be an organism let's see how we can do that so let's start by creating a similar card post but using exactly the atomic design so to do that i'm just going to quickly label all these items here as atoms I have my atom components and I'm going to put them inside a frame. I don't want them to be exactly a frame, so I'm just going to make up a selection right here. So you can see this, I'm going to name this selection as atoms. What I want to do now is create my molecules. So I want to recreate this exact organism, but being made out of molecules. So far, I have no molecules, so let's create the molecules that we need. In this case, you can decide for yourselves what you think is the most efficient way to create your molecules. But for my advantage i usually tend to go per section and that's again as you're scrolling down you can see you can go up top to bottom so i'm gonna take the first as an example so one first small molecule even molecules could be consisting of small molecules as well so one could be two atom composition so i'm gonna take this one atom so the picture as well as the name so i'm going to create let's see what do i have this called profile picture so i'm going to search on my assets for profile picture I'm going to drag this I'm already using that and then I have the profile name which is right here I'm going to select those two group them and then I'm going to add auto layout as Figma best practices suggest and then I'm just going to give this a value so I want them to be eight pixels apart and then I am simply going to make this a component so now we have it done as a molecule so we have this profile section card as we have this done then we want this to make up all of the top sections so without further ado i'm just going to do profile section i just created this and then i want to select this icon here which is more in which case is called more horizontal or else meatballs that's another term for it more horizontal there we go we have this here i'm going to choose them and group them i'm going to set this to auto and you're going to see exactly what why so i have this 390 pixels wide so you see now it stays to the end i also have some gap from the edges so i want to give this 
16 pixel margin or padding there we go so you see automatically it gives that separation between the two so again as i did before i will create this as a component and i will name this component straight away card top section the next step is to create a combination of the image i'm gonna take picture frame card looking through my library gonna pull this here probably want to extend this section because it's going to have more inside what i want to do next is create another small pattern here so icon combination let me take my thumbs up so you can see here i'm using the filled one so i want to take this one then i want to take my speech bubble or comment icon right here then i'm going to take my share icon here so first let's create a combination with those let's group them them and then set 16 pixel padding between them save them and call it reaction section card because this is where we add where we react so either we like we comment or share and then what we want to do is create this entire section so let's take that reaction section right here then we want to take the save icon as well combine them set this to auto then we had 390 pixels wide with 16 pixel padding there we have it then create this then let's name this actions or something action section actions section card there we have it and then we want to create this entire content card so we have it so what we had before was the likes so we have it right here we want to create this molecule as well put some text here and say 100 likes as we did before uses h2 as we did here so it's this is good in order to make it even more efficient we want to make even this as a molecule so what we want to do is let's say call my name for example right Vagus design to give a bit more sentiment to this component so we want to make this Vagus design we want to make the user generating content for example the comment that i have left on this post there we go and it uses body 14 perfect so we take the text that we just created and we combine those two we group them then we add some auto layout give some spacing of 16 make sure they're center aligned 16 is fine so let's create that as user generated comments then we also want to combine the likes so let's make it likes count let's make that into an atom though because this is an item let's keep this atom right here then what we want to do is combine those two so we want to combine the user generated comments right here and then we want to take also likes count there we go we have this one right here so we want to combine them group them add some auto layout add some more spacing here 16 then we want to make sure that the width is set to fixed because this is the content that we're going for 390 pixels then we want to make sure that this is filling up the container but stays as fixed spacing and next up we want to add the 16 pixel padding to keep consistent with everything else that we have done so far then we create this as a component and let's name this reaction overview overview section card okay we have all of the molecules and because we have all of the molecules now it is time to make our first organism so let's call this organism and this title here to make sure it's always visible in order to make all the organisms we're going to use all the molecules that we have so far to make that organism let's start searching through our assets library so let's go top to bottom again so card top there we go drag and drop then let's take our actually this one we don't need it as a molecule here because it is an atom still then we want to yeah use our picture was it picture frame so yeah we have the picture frame then we have the actions section there we go we'll put it under and then reaction overview there we go drag and drop right underneath then what we want to do as a last step is start grouping all of them so first we want to make sure that these two are grouped to give them a set padding so let's give them a padding of 16 
there we go then let's group them as well let's add this inside this as it is also 16 most likely so there is an equal difference between all of it and i believe this is also going to be 16 there we go looks good to me so far so they all belong to the same layout so far which looks good we don't want to give any padding top to bottom so all we need to do is hit create component give that a name card pattern organism or card post organism there we go and we have created our first organism let's see now how we can use that organism and make something up like this for example as we have the navigation bar so let's go here choose frame or you can just press the f key on your keyboard then we want to do mobile we have 14 as you see we have iphone 14 right here yes 390 pixels wide let's give that random color there we go let's do auto layout make sure everything is fixed to 64 so in this case we're giving space for the status bars and we want to make sure this is set to zero this is set to zero and this is set to zero and then between each post we want to give 24 pixels difference so this is then setting the entire layout of our page of our one screen to 24 so without further ado let's go and add our first card in so yeah we want to use our first card so there we go card post drag and drop right inside and then drag and drop another one right underneath it so just as quick as that we have quickly created some user generated content so you can see now for example this looks a bit too close for my eyes so i want to give this a bit more difference so i can increase the size to 40 so we make sure that this is a different person's post for example it's a visual difference and then another thing i want to do is add the navigation at the bottom so in order for that to not mess up with my content and not push it down i can go here and select absolute position and then just drag it right here at the bottom and there we have it you can see this in full screen actually this should be set to 100 we can see how we can move further from this so you can start creating an entire end-to-end -end design but this is the first step towards atomic design feel free to start playing around and experimenting with different types of atoms for example right here one very simple thing i could do i think this right now looks a bit too far apart so what i can do very quickly instead of selecting right here and you know trying to make this go close obviously i cannot and we already have this same molecule being repeated more than once so what i can do is go back to my library simply find this molecule right here reduce that down to eight pixels so you see how it changed in all instances so if i go back it changes here and it changes here and it changes everywhere else this instance exists so this is one very simple example why atomic design is super efficient and how it helps you iterate on your designs later on so without wanting to add even more complexity i'm going to stop the video here and let you guys play around with it feel free to experiment even further create more atoms create more molecules with the same philosophy and hopefully you can start seeing how this could be playing to your benefit of your iterative process, design process later on. And yeah, that is all for today's video. And see you all next time.